Happy birthday, Paul. You know, folks, Paul Amat is an excellent author. I have one of his books right in front of me here, Hasten Down the Wind. It's one of my favorites. I'm going to do a little tease for you. I'm going to read from page 222 and 223 because this would entice you to buy Paul's books. Here we go. The weeks began to flow by steadily. Stanley's life was more or less a series of getting up, plowing through, going to and fro, and lying down again. And the summer heat lingered. He told his companions at the gas station that he would return to boxing, yet it didn't seem they believed him. Since most people didn't understand boxing in the first place, how could they be expected to comprehend a desire to return to it after a lack of participation? But he meant it. At least he thought he did. The Golden Gloves tournament would be starting the first of the year. Plenty of time to get ready for that. Or he could turn pro, make some money. His cut was healed. The doctor had removed the stitches in August. So what was holding him back? Why wasn't he going to the gym and running and applying for a pro license, doing all the things he should be doing if he were to be doing it? Why was he putting on weight? He was over middleweight now. Why had he been stopping at the liquor store on the corner and getting those bottles of beer and dry sausages at night? Because Amy left? Why was it a relief to sit in the big chair and listen to the radio and chew the sausage and guzzle cold beer. That wasn't the way he wanted to live. Okay, folks, I want you to try buying some of Paul Amat's books. You'll enjoy it. Have a blessed day.